the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, God bless you. Hey, I appreciate you uh, uh, joining in and taking a look at our, our videos and the session that we deal with today. We, we had a good session on the 6th of August uh, dealing with, the, and I'm giving the title in a minute, but I just want to sit there and say, God bless you and I thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and leave comments if you want to leave comments. And we're going to go ahead and break these sessions down from A to G or whatever it needs to do to complete it. And we'll try to post them on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. Uh, those who subscribe, you get notice when we put them out. Uh, those we use by text, we saw a video, we'll send those out on, on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, but I really encourage you to take a look at this because I mean, I tell you, man, this is a great subject today. And let me tell you what the subject is here. The title is interesting. Let's talk about the fact is that uh, I don't see nothing with a timer on it. The top of the fact is, do other gospels give more authority to steal, kill, and destroy? When we talk about the fact is there's only one gospel, but people have used the title of Christianity, title of their belief system, to justify another message of kill, steal, and destroy. Our faith, which is in Christianity, talks about loving one another and of the salvation of all mankind if they receive and they believe. But that's that's the choice they make and God gives us a choice. But there's others who manipulate the scriptures, pervert the scriptures, and try to use it to do things to, such as, and I call these categories in John 10.10, 10, to steal, kill, and destroy. So that's what we talk about. We use Galatians uh, 1, 6 through 10, and John 10, 10, and Philippians 3, 12 through 17. I encourage you to take a look at and read those scriptures uh, for yourself because it's very important. But I did put down here, let me go ahead and, and uh, show the, that foundational scripture, which it says in Galatians 1, 6, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of the Christ grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. And that's the whole point. It's not another gospel. But there be some that trouble you and will revert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which you, that which we have preached unto you, let them be a curse. As we have said before, so Say, I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, than that which you have received, let him be a curse. For I do now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Think about that. That's why we're talking about the fact is that we're going to show some historical records, uh, and I, you'll see in a few minutes, where... Uh, People have gone to, and this time, the biggest ministry of Christianity at that time, back in the 1400s, 1500s, 15th century, uh, was the Roman Catholic Church. I'm not putting Catholic Church down. I'm not putting, I'm talking about the, the individual who was in charge at that time. Not now. And not the whole history of the Catholic Church. But those that were in charge at that time wrote letters to justify slavery. And that's why people sit there and say the Bible justifies slavery. No. People did. And people did it using another gospel. Why I said another gospel? Because Christ didn't teach us that. That's not in the teaching of Christ. That's not a teaching of to steal, kill, and destroy. That is not the teaching of Christ. Amen? And that's what we want to be saying. So, I hope you enjoy this segment that uh, you're going to listen to this session. And, and the whole point is, people manipulate and try to pervert the gospel to do bad things. And I'm asking you to not let people anymore pervert you to do bad things, but to love one another. Because we're all children of God. 
and we all have the right to have, <laughs> to live in peace, not in torture and pain and oppression and, 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 and discrimination. We, we, don't, we don't need that, amen? So I hope you enjoyed the session. I did extend this, so I'm gonna cut it in some more. Hope we're gonna break this down to A, B, B, to G. But God bless you. And just remember, Jesus, Yeshua is Lord. Yeshua is Jesus' Hebrew name for Savior. God bless you. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> to which, and you know, the thing about that one is, is to me, that's, you, you all, because one of my friends I was talking about it, I don't, I don't get a chance to talk to you about it, but the people, what he was saying, he represents people, but as they got away with the lynching. Yeah. They're getting away today of, of stopping a simple traffic stop and then end up in when somebody died. George Floyd was pulled over for a $20 perceived counterfeit. But that was it. I think it was a $20. Yeah. $20, yeah. Bill. $20 bill. They resulted in a person dying. But understand this. If, if the money, if the $20 bill is good enough to, to, to fool merchants, then somebody who receives a $20 bill, who's really not, whose job it isn't, to determine if it's legitimate or not. Yeah. You know, anybody could have had that $20. I could have had a $20 bill, and I got from a store. Yeah. You know, because a lot of times these stores, they get these $20 bills, and then they find out later that they're counterfeit. That be on the top of the pile to give out so that they can get a legitimate $20, because that's yeah. $20 long. Let so they'll hear. put that on somebody else, and it's circulated. Right. So there's no telling if George Floyd was or intentionally went somewhere, got a got a counterfeit dollar, twenty dollar bill, and now I'm gonna try to yes, exchange try it, use it for 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 ten to leave a ten. So there's no telling that, but he never got that chance to mm -hmm. prove that or not. Yeah, because this man uh, decided upon himself to kill, him. and and he killed him not for the twenty dollars. No, I I truly believe that it was for something personal with yeah. that individual. Yeah. And he didn't want to be exposed of, of it. I, that's my personal opinion. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to silence this guy so that he can't expose me. Because well, they knew each other. Yeah, they knew each other. They worked together before. Yeah. But we're talking, we're talking about just them. We're talking about any other. Just so, you know, I was talking one time about the Arizona where a little girl took a 10 cent doll oh, yeah. baby toy and they went gang bang, gang buster on those people pulling the mother out who had a child in her hand and telling her to put her hand behind the back. She said, I'm holding my child. Put your hand behind your back. And all because of 10 cent doll toy. Yeah. Just an excuse. That's so many people have died because of an excuse. So many people have died because just an accusation. You know, they didn't need an excuse. They, they would admit that in, in Georgia, Lake Lanier, right? It, yeah. it, it's some a whole town, a whole town was 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 the mur it's, it's still there. It's still on the water, yeah, because they ain't no they ain't take they gonna take a car. Uh yeah, I'm just saying that that's historically throughout our, our history here and probably throughout the world, you know, Russia attacking Ukraine. We're going after Nazis. I just need an excuse. Yeah. I just need, you, you see, it's the pattern is there. That's all it is, just need a pattern. Just to, to justify what? Steal, kill, 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 steal, steal, steal finances, kill those who have it and destroy anything their lives, you in getting it. <laughs> their lives, their, 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 their dignity, 
You, you know, I'm just telling people, listen, the, the tools are still, the damn enemy uses the tools today. But the, the, this one is talking about a, a, a official government, not government, official church, right? Official representative, ambassadors to Christ, to God, gave a king. And the man was seeking, look at that, you see what I'm saying? That he was seeking that. He's a king, and yet he's seeking moral authority to do bad things. How many of you doing it today? How many of you sitting there doing things to you, you know, to other believers, other people? Who's 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 giving the authority to go beat up somebody because they're they're transgender? Who? What? You you feel like you're justified to? Steal, kill, and destroy because they're an abomination. Did you hear that? Is that what the word? Is? They're an abomination to God. And I look. I'm not advocating endorsing them, but I'm not endorsing. I can't. How do you think I can endorse your behavior, though? Your behavior. Those who sit there and beat these people up. Who gave you the more authority to do that? Who gave them more authority to discriminate? You see what I'm saying? They use today, people, you're using truth to lie. That should be entirely. <laughs> you're using truth to lie. You're using truth to steal. You're using truth to kill. You're using truth. Hey, abortion. Hey, let's, let's that's murder. Doggone it. That's murder, Brother Addison. Huh? Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix this. We're gonna say anything about being a witch, right? That's selling witch hunt. Oh, we're gonna fix it. Yeah, we're gonna we we're gonna fix this though. We gotta we otherwise I'm gonna take the high ground. I have the high ground to put that witch yeah. in the water. And then there's no repercussions because there's no choice but other than them to die. Yeah, and I should, I should go sleep with good at night because I got the moral authority. Yeah. And the same thing about, I'm talking about even modern day people. There's people, you're talking about abortion, you're talking about the death rate of mortality, infant, what about infant mortality rate? Or, or in, in birthing, either the mother died, or the, and, and then pressure for ticket color people. But hey, we're gonna call it. They deserve it. He, they, they die because we, there's a more. I don't have an indignation because of them. Because I guess where, where you get that from, brother? If you don't have, if you, if you get, if you guess abortion, you if you guess anything that's going to take a child's life, and yet you see where there's doctors. Hospitals, taking, lives. taking yeah. lives, and yet you, you, that's all we're trying to say. That's what we're talking about the hypocrisy. It's a war against abortion, but not against uh, murdering child, children. Mm. Wow, a war against uh, abortion. But if a doctor does something to the mom while mm. she, he's in her care, mm. and the child, and the mom or the child dies. Mm. Mm. You know, at a significant rate, that it's it's obvious. So obvious too, right? You know, then why aren't they going after that? Yes. Why, why is nothing being said about that? You should why have when it's brought up. Yeah. There's excuses being made. Hey, look, you should have uh, indignation for the indignation for that as well. That's all we're trying to say. Not see, most people sit there and think, well, well, you you endorsing, uh, you're anti-abortion. Or what do you call it? anti you 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 pro choice anti life you know opposed the fact is that you're not you you using it you take a sliver of more authority more more authority the thing is if God does not take away choice then where does man have the right to do it so. They're saying that they are bigger than God and know more 
than God. And they are going in his stead. Mm-hmm. And you know, uh, the crazy thing is, if it was about the abortions, then life, all life, would be an issue. It would be an issue, it's supposed to be an issue. Because that's what Christ said, right? Then when Matthew just said, thank you for, for for visiting the ones that are sick, the yeah. ones that are in prison, right? The feeding the poor. When you do that to the least, I mean, I'm just the, the gospel, the teaching of the gospel is totally opposite of some of the behaviors that some people use. And all they're looking for is a moral, once again, moral authority. Look at this one right here. This one, I, this is the last one before we get into the scriptures. Sorry, people, I'm gonna get into some scriptures. We, we reference scriptures that we probably asked. <laughs> uh, but we need to show, this is here just show the example of people using the gospel, uh, I call it another gospel, to justify bad behavior. Uh, here's the last one here. This is, like I said, this was the most dominant Christian church of, in the world during this time. That's where you got to break out from the Protestant movement and all that stuff. But I'm just saying at this time, this was the most dominant Christian institution. Yeah, Catholic. Yeah. Go ahead and read it for us. Okay, in the 15th century, the Roman Catholic Church divided the world in half. Mm-hmm. Granting Portugal a monopoly on trade in West Africa and mm-hmm. Spain the right to colonize the New World in its mm-hmm. quest for land in the boat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pope Nicholas V buoyed Portugal's Portuguese efforts and issued the, the Romanus mm-hmm. Pontifex of 1455, which affirmed affirmed Portugal's exclusive rights to territories it claimed along the West African coast the trade from those areas. It granted the right to invade, plunder, and reduce their persons to perpetual slavery. In writing. It did it writing. Yeah. But this is this is this is a continent that has nothing to do with them. These are, there, there are civilizations that were existing mm-hmm. there long before they. Yes, sir. And yet, they're going to, they're going to give them a name mm-hmm. and put them in a box. Yes, sir. That will give them the freedom mm-hmm. to reduce their persons. Yes, sir. To professional sleep. Yes, sir. To put them in a category that's less than. Less than. A commodity. Basically made them a commodity. And and then and but really, let's get to the real point, to steal, kill and destroy. To kill and destroy. That's the church. That is the so-called church in fifty because he did remember the first one he did was in fourteen fifty two. Yeah. And then he decided, well, that's not because that, that covered the people in Europe. That's what that was dealing with, the, the, yeah. in Arab or Saudi Arabia. Uh, and then they said, well, no, we have it. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, you need one for West Coast Africa, you know, so that you can take them too, you know. You see what I'm saying is, that's all I'm saying. Another gospel was being taught. Yeah, and, 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 and think about this. The number of people that were taken, mm from this continent and, and sent to various parts of the world. And then the ones who were left there yeah. in servitude. Who's going on after now? Yeah. In a way that was ungodly. <laughs> to explore those un-humane. people. Yeah. Oh, very unhumane. So, yeah. and yet these people still thrive. Okay, and 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 all I can think of is uh, those people in Egypt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those people who were put in such <laughs> conditions, just like this, 
but yet they could not control the population. They tried killing them off. They tried birthing them. They off. did. Oh, is it? Oh, exactly. it's almost like a it's a pattern. Same thing. And try to use the exact same tools today. Yeah. To eugenics. Yeah. Trying to kill people off. So I was really, I was looking at a, I don't know if I, I think I forwarded it to you. I guarantee I forwarded it. Check your TikTok out. They were saying there's a reason why we got the worst health care. The reason we really got a problem with social security. The reason we got a problem with uh, welfare. Because. Because they thought we were going to die. And yes. then look, just like any of you. <laughs> Same thing. And, and I'm saying is the reason we got a bad thing too, because they don't, because of that. They said, no, we want to, we, you, you, gonna, you, you allow these people to flourish if you give these benefits to them. So what we're going to do is not give those benefits to any of you. So I, so I know you poor person is why you, you're not going to get these benefits because, you know, you don't want to give that to you. That's why it was so imperative mm -hmm. to uh, corrupt Obamacare. Mm -hmm. Because if it would have been left intact the way it was originally designed, Come on. then the, the care of everyone would have mm -hmm. been guaranteed. Yeah. Oh, I think I think another one, brother, is this. I think the reason why they didn't want to give the uh, not the uh, debt relief for the student loans. Not it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that means that black people. Oh, okay. Yeah, that. we can't let that happen. You cannot. Oh no. That, that, they can't have that freedom because if no. they have that freedom, then they'll be able to use their time and resources mm -hmm. to do other things. Oh yeah, find but out that, other things to 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 make to fl it. hey look to flourish basically. Yeah. Education is power. Knowledge is power. And if we can, if people get this education, then you gonna give them, you because you gotta remember, people. I'm just this is just factual stuff we're talking about. Then the other part is conjecture. Now you can you can say no 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 it wasn't we didn't want to give debt relief because of because because of, of people of color. No, okay. I, I grant you that because I can't I can't prove that. Can we brother Adams? We can't prove that. Nope. But I do remember during the slave historically fact of slavery that they were not allowed be, to read. Be educated. Come on now. It was against the law. Yeah. Did, did anybody remember that? Um it could have said a benefit. This is a benefit out of slavery. But one of the non-benefit was no education. We we no no. We, they if they if you catch you reading, no they uh, killed him. Oh you you got to go. You got to go. And, and I'm just saying, people. That's that's the truth. And do you think that has something about the debt relief today? This people. War, Black Wall Street was successful for that. And there was other communities were successful. What happened to them? We had a president, you're right, yeah, we had a president. Success. Where did the Tea Party come from? How they stood up? Hmm. People. What's going on with all these voter restrictions right now? Too many people voting. Yeah. That, oh, we gotta bring that, we gotta make this more restrictive again. <laughs> I don't lie too. Obviously it worked, it did people voted and everything else, but no, we gotta make it more restrictive. Now, now, now we gotta do something that's gonna discourage them. Come on now. We can't, we can't go back and, and have them you know, guess the number of beans or, or marbles in a jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're smarter than that now. Yeah, you can't give them no no quizzes and jack them all up now because someone want to go back to the ID and think, oh God, God, they all them got IDs now. Even old people got IDs. Yeah. <laughs> all of a sudden, you come on, people, come on. You don't have the moral authority to do bad things. You don't have the moral authority to steal, kill, and destroy. You know. And, and, and that's, that's, that's what we're trying to say is that there's any other gospel that's taught is a curse. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, man, God bless you.
we once again, I, I really enjoyed the discussion that was done this week for this Sunday, um, the fifth uh, or the sixth of August, uh, and 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 you really need to take a look at this and and and, and analyze the scripture. See, and I'm going to talk about the fact is that there's people today as well as documented history of people preaching teaching authorizing another gospel and what i mean another gospel mean is that our gospel is which may stand for good news is to love one another our gospel is that god sent his son his only begotten son and i ain't talking about i'm talking about his spirit the spirit of christ his body came so that he can be and die for our sin. You can't kill God, amen? But you can, God sit there and put himself in the flesh incarnated for the flesh, amen? So the point of saying is that the gospel is that God sent a savior for all mankind, for all mankind to be saved. And that's, that's the teaching of the gospel and that all of us can receive it don't mean we're going to be forced to do it. And that's another thing about it is if you preach a gospel where you can you force somebody to be a believer, then, then you're not preaching the gospel. The gospel is an invitation. The gospel is a gift. And you don't make people receive a gift. You offer the gift. And for us as sowers and believers, we continue to preach the gospel so people can understand it. Amen. So I, I think you're going to love this. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh, Leave comments if you if you want to make comments, uh, but just understand these sections, these sessions are designed to help us grow. And I also encourage we talked about earlier is don't forget to use whatever you did in this our sessions or what you heard in your church service. Don't forget to go out and discuss that with your fellow believers or for people that's not a believer. We don't go to we don't go to ministries just for ourselves. We go for the ministry to grow and to, to spread the gospel because that's the calling that we're supposed to have, amen. So don't forget that. And I just encourage you to use our session, our platform, or any other ministry platform. If they preach and teach the gospel, use that as discussions throughout the week. So you can grow and other people can learn from it as well. Amen. I just encourage you to do that. You know, and I put down here the scriptures. It says, no other gospel, which is in Galatians 1, 6, said, I marvel that you so soon removed from him that called you to the grace of Christ and to another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, then that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so I say it now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that you have received, let him be accursed. For I do not, for I do now persuade men, O God, or do I proceed or I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. So that's that's basically what we were trying to cover and we talked about it some great discussions so i hope you enjoy the the uh, session that we went through today and uh we will see you when we see you i'm gonna break this down in about from from a all the way to g if necessary uh for you to look at analyze and study don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you when I see you. I bless you. I appreciate you listening. I appreciate your support. And continue to do what you believe is right. And continue to lift all those up in prayer to preach the true gospel, man. God bless you. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Right. God bless you. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.